Anyway, we're going back to the episode of last. It's a hell of a survival today. We return to boys and girls. Thanks for jumping us. I see a fan fantastic day of the most amazing right here today. Boom. We got some amazing stuff. We got to go ahead and get to going over before we dive into a raid, which, by the way, dude, raids last couple of days have been absolutely nutty. Every single one has been a hit. We've been getting good stuff, so we're going to be having some fun with that. But first things first, what you guys are seeing here are actually some things found in the game files of last day on Earth present in its latest this update shouts out to doobers for actually finding these puppies but what we are seeing here also appears to line up very nicely with the roadmap which was just released the other day so in case you guys don't know what i'm talking about boop what you guys are seeing right here is actually going to be the roadmap and specifically i want you guys to pay attention to points three and points four point three i mean we're currently at point two so the next update is looking like it's going to be point three and then point four it does say new event halloween new event dia de los muertos so we are most likely expecting a motel update coming up next along with some decorations but after that is when the update for halloween and dia de los muertos is coming and those images that y'all saw those game files of the available in the game of Lazada on Earth within the files are actually appear to be corresponding to that Dia de los Muertos day. So if you guys aren't aware, that is actually a Mexican holiday, at least to my knowledge, where it's kind of celebrated as the Day of the Dead. It has a lot of cultural significance and pretty much, it, I believe it starts right around the middle of October, which kind of lines up nicely with what's going on here. So over in that section number four of the roadmap, you guys saw that bundled together in that block is gonna be the new Halloween event and the new Dia de los Muertos event, which kind of lines up very nicely as well because October's like, around that like middle October to the end of October last year the last day on earth Halloween event actually lasted for right around two to three weeks and currently it's looking like this one should be matching up very nicely with that I'm guessing the way that it's going to be working since it is two distinct events is that the first half of the event is going to be the Dia de los Muertos event which is actually the game files that we are seeing already and then the second half of the event is going to be Halloween and it's probably going to be lasting about like maybe a week a week or so each because then it lines up nicely because if it starts at Dia de los it goes for about a week and then it changes to the Halloween event and it goes for about a week It'll be wrapped up a little bit after Halloween ends and it should be able to start a little bit before the Dia de los Muertos Begins making it just kind of like that really nice time period So that's looking like what it's going to be and we will most likely be getting that motel update before So that's another thing to keep our eyes peeled on but let's dive into the contents of this update and what I was talking about So what we are seeing here are all those different game files and the way that this is most likely going to work Is it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Christmas events. So what we are most likely going to be doing is you guys can see that workbench that we can go ahead and kind of like over the second from the left at the very tippity top. You guys can see that workbench. That is most likely going to be a seasonal workbench. We've done this before. We've actually crafted a workbench like that for last year's Christmas event. So we're going to be crafting something like that. And most likely we need to find the two items on the left, which is going to be the candles and the different arrangements of flowers and maybe a couple of other minor things like some wood and maybe some of that marble over on the right and then we are going to be constructing some of those things uh, those three different types of crosses and you guys can see they kind of do get more elaborate as you go to the right the first one appears to be some sort of like wooden one relatively basic one candle couple flowers second one flowers get more fancy multiple candles and then the third one looks like it's made out of freaking marble that is looking nice and marble actually lines up kind of nicely with this as well because most gravestones most tombstones are actually composed of a similar material you Usually, like they're made out of marble or something like that meaning that it kind of does line up nicely with the whole halloween having tombstones and whatnot maybe having to go break those out and about using a pickaxe or something or dig them up or something like that and then you need to combine that with the flowers and the candles to craft those three different types of shrines i guess that's like the best way of saying them and then what we're seeing is some potential rewards i mean if you look all the way over to the right you guys can see what appears to be a sombrero of some kind that looks super freaking dope at the bottom bottom we can see a couple of those skulls i'm not sure what a couple of those skulls are there might be some sort of decoration or something like that that might be another thing you maybe have to redeem but then you can also see at the bottom a luchador mask i believe what it is which is oh my god i need that in my life that is gonna be going in the collectible chest we're definitely gonna be checking the bejesus out of this puppy no need to worry about that but maybe the way that that might work is we have to find somehow those like three things uh to the left of the mask we have to maybe find those and redeem those somehow to get the mess because i 
I don't know. I'm just trying to think like different ways that this could be related, but this is what we have to work with. This is what we know will definitely be in that Dia de los Muertos event. And then, I mean, from what they were saying in the roadmap, I'm guessing there will be more assets or something added or something switched up for Halloween because Dia de los Muertos is not the same as Halloween. They are similar, but they are two distinct things. And in the roadmap, they are listed as two distinct things as well. So that's why I'm saying, especially since we're already seeing these game files, it makes sense for them to kind of like have the first half of the overall end of October Halloween celebration, Halloween slash Dia de los Muertos celebration to have the first half of Dia de los Muertos lines up nicely with the scheduling and actual like timing of the events and then the second half be Halloween and that should be able to conclude right around the time Halloween does come around and that gives them some more time to actually toss in the Halloween files which currently there are not any in the game files from what was able to be found so lots of cool stuff coming there can't wait for this year's Halloween celebration because last year was a whole ton of fun and I cannot wait to see what they decide to hop in maybe we'll even be seeing something like Halloween bosses or something along the lines of that maybe some sort of giant undead monsters a combat combination of Halloween and the Dia de los Muertos. Maybe that's how we get the mask and all of its collectability because that thing's probably not going to be super easy to find or anything like that. But with that said, with that done, let's go ahead and wrap it up for the information I got for y'all today. Can't hear what y'all got to say about that type of jazz in that comment section down below. Whether that be you guys' own thoughts, your guys' thoughts on my thoughts, you guys' thoughts on how any of this jazz is going to correlate, how it's going to work in that comment section down below. And a reminder that that comment is going to put your third of the way. It's a little weird. I do such place store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do is, always make, is make sure to hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. That will enter you in on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, we'll pick a random video for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video and Zet. We'll be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as also. Well. Make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on Earth information such as that which we were able to share today. Don't mind me just neandering my way over. It's a little bit of a raid we gonna be doing today yeah that's right we got a raid in store it's gonna be dope no need to worry about that but first things first actually going to the police station for a jiffy because that thing should have respawned and with the respawn location as as you guys saw hello whose name zesty 535 hello zesty but we are bringing also some of these cards to go ahead and redeem and hopefully get ourselves some winchester mods since currently we do not have any and i accidentally brought these with i want to put those over in the bait chest so we'll do that when we make our way back but yeah that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with all the latest of information such as that which we are sharing today not to mention when the updates drop themselves we're gonna be all over them we're gonna be showing everything off in them we're gonna do the craziest things possible in them it's gonna be a very nice time very fun time and of course it's a great way to stay up to date with every single video y'all can go ahead and enter in on for that weekly giveaway and of course all the dope survival games that we are checking out on the channel many many dope ones still to come such as the brand new seven days to die alpha fallout 76 that's gonna be having a nice series on the channel that's gonna that might be one of the dopest survival games of all time man that is shaping up to be very nice so a lot of reasons to go ahead and stay tuned but i'm gonna go ahead let's stay tuned into uh what might be within the contents of chest number uno not what i'm looking for but i will say i will say, oh okay okay not what I'm looking for, but definitely not shabby either. But no worries, we're going to be going on that raid relatively soon today because uh, just these videos do need to be a little bit on the shorter side because I am, this this week is going to be an absolute, god dang it, I got the Winchester, but not the mod for it, and a saw blade mace, so that's all right. But yeah, this week is a huge mess. I got a midterm I got to get ready for in just a little bit, and uh, I'm actually flying out for uh, super secretive things that I don't want to reveal too much about, so there's going to be very nice things coming with that, but... Uh, yeah, it's an absolutely crazy week, so I'm just trying to trying to get y'all as many videos as I can to prepare. But okie dokie, why don't we try and actually crowd a little bit of the police station, maybe get one more of those cards and see where that takes us. Hello, zombie officer. Goodbye, zombie officer. Hello, zombie officer. Goodbye. The zombie officer. This, is, this just seems like the same story, man. Easy peasy, hungry chopper getting some bullets in the face, breezy. Yeah. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya either. We're even getting some criticals on that, which is kind of nice. Go ahead and clean him up nice and nicely. Still no uh, blueprints that we can actually deem it. We might uh, make a pit stop by the bunker as well. I totally forgot about that. 
uh, to go ahead and trade in some of these blueprints, but I uh, do not. Our blueprint luck for trying to get these Winchester mods has been lackluster to say the least. But if we could just get one more sergeant card at the very least, we should be able to open up one more green crate, and I am cool with that. But in the meantime, I'm very cool with addition out a poop ton of the pain. And uh, that's kind of the game plan, actually, for what we're going to be doing. So what is up, Hungry Champa? And you, oh, mama. Oh, mama, we got a lot of people. And they're waking up. Oh, no, 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 no. This is getting fogly. This is getting fogly. Woohoo! That's a lot of enemies. Oh, me, oh, my. Okay, we're going down to the pistola drizzle. All right, well, the pistol drizzle has never failed me yet. Although, oh, me, oh, dude, oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't realize, dude, but we were running out in our panic. Uh, we kind of caught the attention of all these other officers, which may or may not be a little bit poopy for us. There we go. A little bit of ring around the rosy here should buy us some time. And it's down to a 1v1 and plenty of these dudes went ahead and dropped some stuff as well. So bless up. That brings us up to 10. We got a jail cell key on top of it. Although I just like stockpiling those at this point. Those are a collectible. We already got a dealer's undershirt, which is kind of like the super rare part of those. So I'm kind of just trying to have a stack of those for uh, collectability reasons. But what's up let's go ahead and pop open one of these green crates and let's see if this one might be the mystical winchester mod that i'm searching for nope not at all but it's no pushover of stuff either we got some high-tech components another blueprint we got some more heels heels are very good because we're definitely going to be needing some more here and just jiff our armor too might be breaking so we might be walking out of here with some of that uh military armor as well but oh don't 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 shoot the nice crates the crates are just trying to help us they're not giving me the help that I want in the form of Winchester mods, but they're still trying. You know, A-plus for the effort. I got to give them that. What up, Explosivo Zombie? You ready to go boom? Woo -woo 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 -woo. Yeah, and I'm ready to run away because I'm not trying to get caught in that boom. That boom is problematic. I tell you what. Just trying to avoid getting my stuff hit as much as I can as well. There we have is a potato of a body left over. And we might be able to get one more green card out of this as well. Because we still got that entire, uh, whatchamacall, that entire courtyard of Zambies to go ahead and clear through. We got a whole ton of shotgun rain to utilize upon these leftover schmucks. And that is a good amount of shotgun. Let's just go ahead and give them that finishing blow. Flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee, boy. And maybe we'll go ahead and equip a melee weapon as well. Just trying to multitask. We'll be looting that. We got the gun. We got the machete. And <laughs> we got a whole bunch of bloodthirstiness. And a couple more crates to go ahead and check out. But, I mean, this wing of the uh, police station should be right about almost, if not totally cleared. We just have, I think, like one Zambi there, one Zambi there. Oh, that guy has a riot zombie. We've got like two over there. And then we got the giant courtyard we got to clear. Although we might leave the courtyard because I don't think the prisoner zombies can actually drop any of the cards and that's kind of the main component we're trying to stockpile at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Shotgun rain! Beep! Oh, oh my god, we did plenty of damage to him. See ya! Let me just slice your face off really quickly. Hope you don't mind. What up, Riot Zombie? Do you enjoy our lord and savior shotgun rain? I sure hope so because shotgun rain to you, my boy. You are getting a healthy serving of them, whether you like it or not. Uh, nothing super cray cray up in the storage. What about storage numero dos? You trying to have something good for me? A little bit of glue. And I could get behind that, man. Although I have a huge stockpile of glue. I wish I had some Winchester mods to use the glue on, but that uh, that search has not been the most fruitful as of so far, unfortunately. But dude, that Halloween event, so that's what I can't wait to begin the search for those items, man. And the deal, I, Halloween slash Dia de los Muertos. It is kind of like a double-sided event when you do think about it that way. So, okay, uh, this guy caught whiff of us. I will take out the brawler because A, he's a Swolosaurus freaking Rex. Oh, now the rest of them come after me. What is this? Oh my God, I just turned him into a bajillion pieces. What is this? Shotgun rain to you schmucks. Come on. What have I done to deserve this? Also, I guess there wasn't as many people here as I thought, because that wound up being a little bit easier and breezier than I expected. So just go and finish him off with some, ooh, critical shotgun rain. Continue collecting the cards that we oh so desire. What's up, jailbirds? I got plenty of shotgun rain for you too as well. This thing is built to go ahead and one shot a poop a ton of your schmucks, and then I'll give you a little slice. Oh, we didn't need that arm anyway. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. I'll, I'll put that arm to use on the ground because I, I threw it on the ground yeah something like that i don't know you want to give me something good over here eh, it's kind of okay not good not great and then we do have this zambi over here that we can wake up wakey wakey eggs in the bakey my boy come on you want to oh there you go now he's waking up i don't know why that was so difficult 
I'll just slice and dice you to death. It makes my life easy and makes you do a front flip over how excited you are to get that slice and, and the dice. And we could still do the courtyard as well, but eh, we're not super prepared. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather come a little bit more prepared when we do get to the courtyard because that is our freebie at the courtyard since we don't need to use an electronic circuit the first time around. But as y'all can see, we did not get enough of those for more stuff, uh, unfortunately. But A, hey, that's A-OK. -okay. I think that we, we I, th I think we'll be able to live. Oh, hello. Oh, well, that thing's a bejesus ton away, so that's gonna be a no for me for now. We do slap this revenge rate as well. No worries, guys and gals. We will be doing that. Although, I'm just trying to make sure that we, uh, we are prepared for the contents of that raid. Because I was doing a little bit of scouting on that one. And there's, uh, there's a lot of promise to it. Just leave it at that. There's a lot of promise to it. Just, just stay tuned. That base will be raided. But in the meantime, we do got some quality raids of our own to go ahead and do. And speaking of that... We got a quality rate of our own that we got to go ahead and prepare for right here, right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put all these things up and away. And then we are going to uh, go out on that raid. So talk to y'all in a sec. Ah, another leg like, spread, a little bit of vitamin P as well as we prepare for this raid. But we're looking good. We actually tossed out a fresh set of SWAT armor. Shouts out to that dope raid we had a couple of days ago where we got multiple sets of the stuff that definitely it came in handy. We do wanna go ahead and grab a gun really quickly i think we should have some you know what we haven't been raiding with the vss as of late i say we mix it up a bit let's uh let's bring this puppy along let's mod the but oh yeah dude i forgot how beautiful this thing becomes when it is modded oh yeah look at the damage on this thing too in case you guys haven't i caught a proper whiff for the damage 62 damage on 1.8 speed yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good. So I just temporarily got some stuff up in here. We got some of these things we could bring. I'll be putting that away for a jiff. And we got some of those that we could go ahead and craft into stuff. Before that happens, let's just make sure to restock our bait chest. So the next time some angry raiders come along, we ensure that they take some things. And, well, <laughs> they leave some footsteps behind. Footsteps are a, they're a wonderful thing. They lead us to more raids. Let it be known, I like being led to more raids. It's, it's probably one of my favorite places to be led. Or a giant pool of candy. Depends on the candy. I don't know. But it, I, I don't know, man. Bring me to like a giant pool of Twix. I, I wouldn't be too salty. I'd be I'd be pretty aight. Uh, and then we're at, mm, mm, I'll, I'll leave the shotgun behind because I don't know if one VSS will be enough for the entirety of the raid. We do have this AK as well, but uh, let's go ahead, take a couple of swigs of water to prepare ourselves. Sprint over to the water because I just cannot wait, boys. I need to get my dosage of this raid. Let's definitely bring the chopper. Don't just want to wander outside of the base. Always better to bring the chopper, especially because that's where we got our three C4 stockpiled for the time being. Let's get to driving and let's drive our way into the hearts of this base. Are we looking good over here? Just make sure that all is Gucci. Yeah, one of these is a little bit... I was about to say hurt. I don't, I don't think that's the right word to use, but you know what I mean. One of them's a little bit damaged, so we just got to keep our eyes on that. But zesty boy, what do you got in store for me, buddy? Without further ado, let's begin today's raid. We had a great look at the Halloween event to begin with. We had some okay times at the police station. I was kind of hoping that would go a little bit more in our favor. And we have, ooh, a quality looking base to go ahead and break into. Let's go ahead and eat up some of these beans as well and get our tummy a little bit filled up. It's not looking like the hugest base in the world, but at, ooh, actually, actually, huh. It's like, it's like a little village, dude. He's got like multiple houses and stuff in here. Okay. Uh, I'm not seeing any chests over in this area, so I don't know how tempted I am to break into this. Ooh, hold up, hold up. You guys see this? You guys see this? Is this an entryway into the back of this man's base? I do believe... God dang it. It's not, it's not much of an entryway. It just got a couple, a couple of these schmucks. I'll take those guys out. And uh, yeah, total... It needs dynamite from there. So I guess that was the one weak point. But all that it led to was some zombies being unleashed on us. Oof. Brutal, I know. But he does have this giant area, which is, I'm guessing, where his chests are going to be. He does have a couple area back here. I don't know where I want to break into, though. That That is definitely the question that's arising. I don't know if we should break into there. I I kind of want to break into the giant section here. I, I uh, let you, We, we got to take the C4, though. That's the next logical step. And we got to hope that we break into the right part of this base. 
Let's hope that it's not a layered base. That's kind of worst case scenario. Let's go ahead. Toss the C4 on. Cross our fingers for a big boom, bruh. It's going to be one of these bases. Oh, my. Okay. 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 Oof. That's not good. Uh, so it is some kind of a honeycomb. Well, we learned that the hard way. Uh, here's the thing. Is it... There's two things that this could possibly be. One, a total honeycomb that is pointless. Or two, we already started breaking into here. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. That could have gone smoother. Okay, we still got two more C4 at our disposal. So we're doing okie dokie, but... Ah, uh, I, I don't know, man. We already used one C4. I think the way this base might be, he might be protecting some good stuff. It might be like a little three by three on the inside because if you look at it, it is five by five here. One, two, three, four, five. And then if we go over down that way, one, two, three, four, five. So he could have a three by three being protected by a layer of this stuff. That's that's what my guess is. And uh, if my guess is wrong, well, I'm going to be crying a lot of tears for the C4 we put to use on this stuff. So please prove me wrong. Let's freaking go. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, well, we found out a couple more valuable things, apparently. One, it looks like there's another part of the base that you could break into. This one does have chests, though. I think those are the chests we pretty much have to go with. I think there may have been a better place to break into. Because if you, like, mm, it's kind of, like, I'm not seeing any chests in this area. I'm hearing a radio. I'm not seeing any chests, but I'm not seeing any, like, amazing chests over here. Which is why I'm a little, like, he, what, we have a chest here, like... Ah, oh, it's got some okay stuff, like a flare gun, a modded bat. Like, it's not the worst thing in the world, but... Ah, uh, it's definitely not the best, and... Ah... Uh, I don't know. I know that we, there could be some chests in here, but at the same time, I know that there's nothing over in this, like, little square. Definitely zero things there. Don't have to worry about that. I hear a radio in one of these squares, like, I... I don't know if that would have been the best place. You might be like, oh, stop. Why don't you just break into the doorway or whatever? Well, honestly, I've had this happen where people literally honeycomb their doorway. It's the ultimate troll where like their entire base will be just there'll be one wall. But like around their door, they'll have like a little square of walls. So like if you try to break into the door and use that, it's kind of like reverse psychology around there. But I don't want to use our last C4 already. That would be a little bit subpar, a little bit less than ideal. Uh, let's just try to break through some of these chests and hope, hope for the best, man. We got to hope that one of these, let's go. I think we got into the good part of the base, boys. Okay, never mind. I'm feeling slightly less bad about myself, but whoop, 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 whoop. these zombies are making me feel bad. Not in that like I feel mentally or emotionally bad, bad that in that my body hurts. They be hurting me. Don't be hurting me, fast biters. Why you gotta be so mean? Why you gotta be so rude? Oh, and we can still go ahead and break into the second portion of his base as well. But first things first, let's take out these schmucks with a whole ton of VSS action. You can never go wrong with this thing, man. Especially fully modded. VSS becomes a god in its best mods as well. But, okay, so for you guys, as a note for you guys, do not break into this wall if you come across my ma my main man, Zesty, out here. And this is where it hurts, but if you do decide to break in, break into one of these two walls is probably ideal, because then you could break a chest as well using your C4. Because this looks like the good chest, too. That's the thing. Like, he had a, like we've gotten some pretty solid guns from these chests, but it's, I don't, it's, just, it's just unfortunate the way it had to happen that... We had to use two C4 to get into something that normally takes one C4. But, dude, the raids as of late have been on point. Like, oh, me, oh, my. I remember those dry spells we'd go through, dude. What, the last update had to have changed something with raiding. There's just no way. Like, something's different. And I'm a fan of it. And, ooh, here's... Mm, I was going to say, if you break into one of these walls, then you could use that to glitch it, too. But that's not going to work. Because if you C4, you're going to break that chest. Because if you guys... If this was, like, a wooden wall and you broke it... And you kind of sneak past the chest. Zombies can't sneak past it. So you actually become invulnerable. And they can't reach you within this inner area. What do we have over here in chest numero three? Let's freaking go. Dude. It's the gift that keeps on giving. It sucks we had to use 2C4 for this gift. But uh, 
Hey, I've uh, I've gotten worse gifts. That's for sure. Okay, thank you. Uh, do we need meds? I got plenty of those. I'll, I'll co uh, we'll cop that for now. I'll, I'll come back for some stuff as our uh, as our hatchets and whatnot break too. What about you over here, chest numero cuatro? Do you have? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. This was a good raid. This was a really good raid. Whew. Dude, I was starting to kind of doubt myself a little bit. We only saw four chests, but. It appears that those four chests are not total pushovers. Oh, no, no, no. Not today. Those chests are actually looking semi-decent. And we do still have some extra hatchets we could use. So let's utilize them and break into the contents of this area. Maybe we'll find something Gucci McSwag. Ooh, even more chests. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hold on, we're gonna see if these chests give us anything halfway decent. That's another thing we gotta keep our eyes peeled on. This guy, it, it looks like he's chilling on the couch, man. He passed out. I, I, it looks like he wasn't, oh, get out of here, doggo. Don't attack me, but yeah, it looks like this guy wasn't away from his base. I think we just woke him up during a nap. Better he died on his couch, but I don't know, man. He, he's probably just taking a nap. Let's be honest here. Get out of your toxic abamos. Ain't trying to deal with you abominations at the moment. Uh, we still got this thing. I want to use the rest of this. Ah, well, we can't because we just used, ooh, true, 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 true. Ah, uh, yeah, we just cleared out the last wave. We can go ahead and eat our baked beans, get our health up, get our food up, and see where that takes us. So we can put those away. Let's make sure that we're grabbing the good stuff here. Definitely want to grab those. As cool as it is that we've seen sergeant cards, which is crazy. I think that's another reason that this thing got updated because now there's sergeant cards in the bases in the database. So, those are actually like a potential drop we can get, which is really nice. There are some decent things in there I kind of want. Semi-decent things in there, but first things first. We got some more chests we gotta look into. Now, these chests aren't totally surrounded by stone. Which makes me think that they might not be as good. But who knows, maybe there's a little chest over here by the couch. You know, gotta, whenever you're chilling, watching some someone else's dinner happen. No. No, that's just where he holds his berry teas. That's kind of like his mini fridge. <laughs> I guess that's the best way of thinking of it. We should be able to break through one more chest after this, though, but... Okay, not actually not that bad. That should be able to scrap into a lot of copper. So if you think about it, we did just get a lot of copper out of this raid. And that's just some more food. So I'm guessing these are just going to follow kind of the relatively same route. They're just going to be kind of like food items. Maybe a couple... Like, if I get a stack of cameras, I'll get behind that, but... I mean, it's nothing super crazy by the looks of it. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep! Um, I don't know. I guess we could grab that. Uh, we could leave. What do I want to leave? Well, I suppose we should put some stuff away up into the chopper today. Because we still haven't put anything away into that. So, yes, sir. Let's definitely put away the valuables. That's valuable. That's valuable. That's definitely valuable. Yeah, we uh we have acquired some good things. We've got this Winchester, dude. Like hells to the yeah. Did I bring that Winchester? No, I didn't bring that Winchester with. That'd be a total me move. Don't get me wrong, but I I do not believe that I brought that Winchester with. Uh, no point in grabbing a single gun oil. I'll I'll grab the katana. I'll I'll grab that for new. I will. I'll do it. Um, I, I guess I'll actually I'll get rid of that. Scoop that up. And okie dokie. My artichokies. I think, uh, for the most part, I, I kind of see the way that things are going. Alright, well. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything super crazy in those chests, so I'm cool with those. Our inventory, if we gotta run out of here with this, I'm cool with running out of here with this, so... Let's just see if there's anything worthwhile in these other chests, and then we got to dip, boys, <laughs> in, a, in a hurry. That's going to be a very angry camper known as the big one coming down, trying to hunt us down. So let's just go ahead and get one, a two chops on that, one, a two chops on that, and a one chop on that. That should break on the second chop. Let's see what all these things have. If anything's worthwhile, we got a free slot. YOLO, show me something good. Okay, I get, oh, hold on, hold on. I should grab some of those. Oh, oh I, 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 I'm kind of panicking, kind of just did some useless stuff over there. Uh, nothing super amazing there. Whoop, 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 whoop. And get out the way, boys. I ain't trying to deal with you at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up. Let's see what's over here. Let's see if he has any oak being processed. And nope, he, he did have oak planks or oak logs. So it was definitely possible. 
Don't get me wrong. Oh, man. Good thing we didn't get sandwiched in this. See ya, big one. Thank you for, uh... Thank you for coming and giving me a good raid. Even though he didn't give me nothing. Thank you for showing up and chasing me out of a good raid. Because we got the best stuff out of that. And, hey, we got an airdrop on top of it all. Getting close to Crime Manure. No worries. Crime Manure, we're going to be heading to. I, uh... That's going to be a good one. Let's just leave it at that. It's going to be a good one. But all right, airdrop. Show me what you got as we check out what he's got. That's going to start wrapping up for this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Can't wait to see what y'all got to say regarding the Dia de los Muertos slash a Halloween event information we was able to share today. Puppy! Dude, good thing we got that. Oh, no. We got a full inventory. Hold on. Uh, we got to ditch something. That we do. Um, you know, we can... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah. What is this? Like three... I'll... Yeah, I'll ditch that. I, you, ah, whatever. Get up in here, puppy. Do I get, do I get a quest for that, maybe? No, but I can't wait to what y'all gotta say regarding that. But with that said, with that done, it's gonna start wrapping up for me. For now, best of luck to you guys and gals. Get the chopper gas tank and join in the chopper squadron. Best of luck, breed of your pups. Getting the very best true friend of Puck and true friend Doggo that you can. Not to mention, find the best blueprints for the best weapons, for the best attachments that you can possibly build. Let's toss that over there. Let's stack that up one more. Go get our stuff back. Best of luck to you guys and gals. <laughs> Can I be a gray wolf? Best of luck to you guys and gals. Building up your base, going out on the dopest of raids, not to mention defeating all the bosses of the game has to throw at you. Getting past the multiplayer wall, the most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely fan fantastic time all throughout. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hope oh, this was an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.